Give me a long way in the next part. And in the previous part, please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings. The previous part, how it is that the Bible says that a man that goes from rags to riches overnight becomes a menace to society, an abomination. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, okay? And the reason why that is the case is because this person, upon encountering money that he did not grind and work for, or wealth, prominence, a position of affluence, because he was up to inherit that they are a diva they become a diva they become menacing they become insufferable they cause everyone around them to live a, a very disquieting life because the hobo that wins the lottery ends up becoming the dude or disrespect or downgrading other hobos type establishment thing when the ground when the ground inside them is not tilled to make it healthy and viable for seed to be planted that Foliage might grow, and therefore now we got a forest like yours down the line. If you don't go through that gradual process of indeed earning your keep, once you have much wealth in your possession, and so in using them that analogy and that biblical proverb, it can therefore necessarily be implied as well that a man that gets honor from a woman or compound or respect bang or wrong having not earned that respect we're towards in Jephila just by mere virtue of having an Adam's apple and man parts that is a dude that is like one who goes from rags to riches there is a curse in this country where women are giving honor to men in like j indiscriminately basa berekelang kompo eu I am currently, for instance, sitting in this position right now as a woman who has been devastated by multiple men, many of whom were my ex-boyfriends. And my ex-boyfriend, for instance, is this dude, on a very hugely irresponsible. When I came into his life, it's a man, a boyfriend, a project. Literally, like a whole like project plan. What is this? The constraint is in a bunch. Financially, quality, scope, everything is in a bunch. And you embark on a project to literally panel beat a man until he becomes the perfect car that you want to drive. Also, I told a lot of training in Lao Lao Yalo is a good way from scratch when I self. Mara, we just all guys a BMW from scratch. Elo, it's a little nanana. Elo, it has. Elo, whatever. Here it is that you're trying to make a BMW out of a test. And this guy, how I got the parts of BMW, Udi Raka, on Zodi Gena Moyena. Asa Bereka. Asa. Trina, in and of himself, as a who ena, as a who deserve. As the Jonung Ele is somewhere close to being a BMW, I don't give Mini Cooper. Who tell a who? Yes, like it. It took me five years of panel beating a man. In your five, I'm guessing Nanka Lorangina. I've never seen so much pride in a man. When he started to make real money, when he started to be able to buy all those designer clothes, the way Aunt Dilinka Ding, Nka Regrensha Puk Nilena, that was to be groveling at his feet, Nka Nanka does a favor by being with me. I could not believe the arrogance. It was astronomical and through the roof. That is a man that is like one who went from rags to riches without being trained how to be a king, how to be muhumi. And so I cannot honor, I cannot respect the same guy, Wahamba, Wayotela Umundu, that is essentially the one who was truly honorable because she's a builder. Do you understand? Nemiti, so much. I gave my life to Christ, entered into persecution, and eight years down the line, I'm still persecuted. Today, the same ex boyfriend, the way I and everything I get, I cannot from a certain point came about as a result of ill-gotten gain inspired into his life by declaring witchcraft so essentially wow and then that's the only stacks of gold in your proverbial like chest in your um what do you call this a proverbial vault at the bank when our oceans 12 or brad pitt lit george clooney they're not yours you didn't work like a dog to put to get these gold bricks when you are there, having not worked for it, you are going to walk around thinking him, him, I've arrived. You will feel no need to respect anyone. And you will continue to gain respect purely because you've got acquisitions, but without having any true character. So you are going to become the bane of the existence of the regular man on the street. You're going to be an unruly boss. You are going to be an overworking boss over your employees. You are going to be un unfaithful to your wife. You're going to cheat because all these women are throwing themselves at you. You have not built a foundational character. And that's what I'm saying. So what's happening in the country right now in South Africa is that Abafazi, thanks to all this uh, like occult like nonsense that's flying around like a queen, but that did not for the life of them work 
to earn a respect. All they did was come into some money without being trained in their character. And so when then they got thrown respect purely because by Mali, they became menacing beasts. When I was working for MTN, I, there was this one guy I dated briefly. For two months, I was already a Christian. I thought he was a believer, but he wasn't. And the way I was getting evidence to the people, he had colleagues. I actually spoke about this yesterday, but I deleted that content. And I'm re-recording it now. Because my brother and get really angry. And I realized that I wasn't coming. So I was going to be offensive as opposed to edifying. So I deleted that content. Um, and I'm re-recording it now with a, with a lighter tone. Okay. This guy. In that little two months. And they relate together. About his colleagues in the office. So when I say about other men. You know men of these days. They gossip. Anyway. When I say about other men. Uh, and among the men that Anaba Seba was this one guy. Who was married. Okay to a woman that was also working in the company in the same department, like too close for comfort type vibes. But anyway, it's your choice. You decided to work in the same company, whatever. They didn't meet at the company. They decided to both of them apply at MTN. The, this couple, everybody knew they were married. Mara, this guy, yo guys, as in, Sigla Wananja, Hai Hobula, Busuga Fela Batwasa Honorobal, Mara Ana Moto Dilanka Yona via the municipal, you know, directive laws, Ana Moto Ohendlang or Regulatang, you just deal in Jefela or Nalim, ten amount of an alarm clock ringing all night long while you try to sleep. Mara, yeah, nothing is riddling the dog, like. Have you ever tried Horobala and Jainze Hobul all night long? It's it's impractical and you often wonder why is no one doing something about this more complex thing? This is disturbing of the peace. Handle your animal, otherwise, you know, Go some other place where one of these soundproof walls type thing. And this dude was like Njae Hobulang e community is a dilingayona. Mara e kosan community is a ho is a robalebusihu mara by except. By except, do you understand? Linda Lena, Michelle Laga Fungan in the office. Umfas or corner, a corn. Mosadwa Ding and Sabazago officing Maradaway Nashel of Zapaka Ding, Red Sebaka of Elarunians, like imagine Atako Karabar Karabunjan. Can I have your number? Can we have lunch? And I'm like, but dude, I know your wife. And letting him Sadwa Ding Uruzi Mole, Yamana Kumaketi, Obuti, what's going on? The level of humiliation of the woman, can you imagine? And I know sometimes women can be horrendous, do you understand? In that they will pride themselves in Tabar Monaha Ho Un Shedzi. And so she, of course, came across that information where her man was a random buffoon. What then became of this female called MTN? She was a uh only mean, cold. Una snale rato, na frankly ki mozami. She actually was the first one to work for the company and then the husband came later. And we started working there really two at the same time. 2009 when i started working at mtn was when she was also new we went through the same induction and at that induction that's when i met her and she had so much attitude so much attitude and exactly what's going on until the husband started working for mtn and that dynamic became truth fact to me i got to understand why i saw she was medusa she had been turned into stone because of a bad man and she got worse and worse because of this dude in the office so this um boyfriend of mine that I was dating. One of his boys, one of his friends was this woman's husband. And he would he was explaining to me just tall stories, guys, that are abominable in nature about the ghetto that's of this guy. Like excessive oversharing of information that caused me to feel greatly sorry, okay, for Chirien, for this wife. Because I got, I understood why. Something in Khan Mongonga Haho constantly. And so I'll show you what to hand. I can understand why Udula Lison again. Because your guy, your man, is that stench in your nose. That your man is what's causing you to be mean. Unjan, when the patriarchy fails, women become menacing on the ground. Do you understand? And if women don't build themselves in character, they will not hold it up. And Lidengi, a matriarchy, has never been intended to run any kingdom. Let's move to the next part.